This is a download from BFM 89.9, the business station. Good afternoon. This is Resource Center on Enterprise, and I'm Lim Sun Hing. Last week, I had the Ernst and Young Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year 2013 on the show. He's back today, Brian Liu, Managing Director of Loop Holdings. But this time, he's back with Terence Lee, the Founder and Business Development Director of Bros, B-R-O-S. You know, the guys who make the reusable water bottle? Welcome, guys. Hi, Suning. Hi, Terence. Bros going into its 10th year, and Cha Time in Malaysia going into its about third year, right? Yep. Now, this is a f- first-time collaboration between the two of you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who initiated this collaboration of making getting Bros Brothers bottle, uh, Bros Bottles and Cha Time branded together? Okay, Whose um, idea? I, th- I think we take the honor to initiate the project. Um, purely because, um, you know, my, when we came across um, what we're going to do on, on end of the year or 2014, or maybe three to five years later, we wanted to invest into merchants. So obviously, in our mind, is um, whether to leave the merchants to the professional or we do it ourselves. What, what do you mean? What do you mean invest in the merchants? I'm yeah, not merchants. Quite sure. A lot of people been asking, hey, uh, Chatham is going to invest in merchant, having a Chatham merchandise and all this. Ah, your merchandise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you decided to yep. merchandise. Yeah. So we decided to to went into merchandise merchandising. So so to our mind is the first question: Do we want to do it ourselves, or do we want to leave it to professional to do it? So then it came to our mind. So th- then the idea was to go to bros. Yeah, because bottles is always the main, the main key merchandise for for all the beverages company. But but why bros? Yeah. Bros o- obviously is the biggest um, bottle manufacturers in Malaysia so far. Okay, <coughs> I think bro- bros is the, uh, I think famous. I mean we are we are famous for our qualities, designs, and uh, I think the way that we print it in a very uh, high quality and, and so when he came to you with the with the idea yeah. straight away was this okay let's go yeah i think usually what we do is uh, we we will see whether this collaboration is really a uh, match with our uh, brand's uh, value i think uh, chat time want to uh, promote this uh, refillable water bottle which is care for the environment i think it's a very uh, good uh, step and secondly also i think the idea also the they also promote a lot of uh, local artists. Yeah. Okay, tell me about this collaboration. Yeah. So it's, yeah. a, it's about the water bottles and it's also about the local artists. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think brand region is very important. Getting a line of both brand regions is where to kickstart the entire project. So when we go to bro- Bros, everything went, in, uh, went easily or the conversation was so comfortable because we are serving the same brand regions. It's to go into eco-friendly stuff. Mm-hmm. And the, on the other side, we are supporting the local art scene. Yeah, but actually, uh, you based if I if I understand cha time correctly, you yep. get all these disposable plastic yep. Like, yep. cups, yep. right? Yep. So, yep. bros is not that yes. one. Um, as everyone know, the, the government had been been encouraging um, people of um, using less plastic and all these things. O- obviously, that was always in our top of the mind how to reduce plastic. But to us, we can't reduce big way because we still have to use the cup. You mm. see. So, but what we can provide internal alternative or options, could it be a, a, a bottle where people can constantly re- reusable the bottle, so we reduce the, the plastic usage and everything. So when we thought of reusable bottle, bros came in the first picture because obviously they are... Reusable. Yes, they mm. are reusable and that's their brand regions. Yeah. And then, of course, is the artwork. Because bros also have this... All the bottles have connect yeah. interesting designs on them. Yeah, always we have uh, connecting with interesting design, and I think in year two thousand and twelve also we we also invite uh, local artists to put their design on their on our bottles, and uh, it get a very uh, very successful uh, response and impact because uh, we just let those those uh, local artists have a converse. I mean, like a converse to put on the bottles, and, uh-huh. and they they can introduce their work and introduce all those uh, local young artists to the public. So, yeah. so to date, how many young artists have you worked with? Uh, we Beside all those artists, on and off, we also we collaborate with them. And also there are some art schools, uh, college, and we also run, uh, run some uh, live project. We go there and teach them how to, produ- to, to design a bottle. And if their artwork is fine, then we will produce their artwork on the bottle and sell it to the public. For That's this right. project, yep. Yep. Who are the artists and how did you <coughs> engage them? Okay, uh, for this project, we have um, we have identified three good artists. They are all the renowned local artists. And these three three artists is nothing unusual. They've been working with us in our projects. We've been supporting local since since day one. 
and some of the designer is already clo- um um they are, they are designing our thirsty member card thirsty card they are designing our our cup sailor they are designing all our artwork and everything so these three people is nothing unusual they are very talented they are known quantities you know who yes. they are and yes. you and you didn't go around and run a competition to find yes. new people uh i think not necessary i think uh, we we have the contact because we also not just in the bottle industry because we provide design and we are we are very familiar with the designs uh, and this exactly uh, yeah. obviously um bro is p- providing us the guideline yeah. uh, what what kind of design should be more appealing to brabic and everything yeah. so we we get a three um designer that have been working with us for for quite some times because last um on december july we have actually launched our initiative called support Malaysia Bobohan Tabatan. So on that scene we actually supported 40 different local artists. Uh-huh. So from from that initiative we actually pick up three good artists to conduct another round of um initiative to maximize or their exposure to the market. Brian I I I guess your interest in artists stems from the fact that you are you, yeah, you yeah. like drawing yourself. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm personally I, I'm a big art lover. Obviously fall back when I'm in childhood I I actually draw a lot of comic when I was age of 7. I rent it out to all my my classmates for 50 cents for reading. <laughs> so that that's how I earn my pocket money for recess. <laughs> A businessman from the very start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now, from 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 this collaboration, so what exactly will happen in like how many kinds of bottles are out there? How are you distributing them? How are people acquiring them? Okay, the first stage uh, we will uh we have total have three designs and we will have 10,000 bottles at uh, char time 105 stores. Selling starting in uh, December, and then uh, starting in March, uh, mid of March, then we will start selling at the retail sites. But when yeah. you talk about retail site, what what are the retail sites? I mean, I know bros are sold in like department stores. Yeah. I mean, char time is just char time. So yeah. when you talk about retail sites, wh- are, you, are you talking about? I'm talking about department store like uh, Jasco, Metro, uh, Robinson, Yisetan, or hypermarket like Tesco. And and so on and so forth, and I think almost a major department store and hypermarket, and we they will see uh, chart time bottle as well, yep. starting from March. Yep. Yep. How complex is this whole process of you know meeting up, deciding on what kinds of bottles, deciding on the designs, mm. d- deciding on the cost? I assume, assume yeah. also, and then also the distributing distribution channels. I think the the complicated part is to the the initial part is to get aligned with both regions. So if we came in with the same visions, then we are good to go. It's just that we need to pin down all the details, how we go go around all this initiative. So we came in quite easily, where we achieve about thirty um, percent process before we move on. Where the the vision is basically aligned when we came in together. So just that we have to pin down all the detail, how how we going to produce it, how we going to supply it to all the different chain chain in Malaysia. So that that was came in as a secondary. So how yeah. long was the process from the day you started talking about it to the day to to, to the day when you launched it was December first, yep. right? Yeah, took about three months. Right? Three yeah. months. Yeah. It's it's about three months after we we have celebrated our hundred outlets in in Malaysia in July. So three months ago, or a, a little bit over three months ago, yep. you Brian, you went up to yep. Terence and said, Terence, here's a proposal. Yeah. 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 That's simple, so, huh? Yep. Yeah. So first phase took us about three months. So what we foresee in future, right? It's going to be lesser than three months. It could be one and a half months. So First series will be in the market starting from this month. So we, what we projected for next year, each year we're trying to come up with four different series to the markets. So that's why we came to a limited bottle of 10,000 bottle. So when it's out of, which means that you couldn't get it elsewhere. Brian Lu of Char Time and Terence Lee of Bros. We are talking about a collaboration between these two brands for mutual benefit to grow their respective businesses. Coming up shortly, as they say, the devil is in the details. I know they've been working for together for three months, working out the details. Well, let's find out about the details. This is Resource Center and Enterprise, BFM 89.9, the business station. Honey, I have good news. The CIMB Bank Cashback is here again. For 500 ringgit spent in a week, we stand to get 100 ringgit cashback. And if we spend 1,500 ringgit in a week, we stand to get 350 ringgit cashback. All this by using my CIMB Bank credit or debit card. Really? What can we spend on? We can spend on dining, groceries, fashion, and at departmental stores from now till 2nd February 2014. Great! Let's start this evening. I'll pick you up after work. But wait, how do we participate? Just register via SMS. Visit www.cimbbank.com.my to find out how. Terms and conditions apply. CIMB Bank Cashback here we come.
Good morning, it's the 6th of November. We know you don't have time to flip through the headlines, so we're doing it for you. Online, that is. The funny, the salacious, the serious, the controversial. So let us be your aggregator on your computer, your phone, or even your tablet. BFM Morning Headlines, every weekday at video.bfm.my. Beyond Frivolous Matters, BFM 89.9. You are tuned to Resource Center on Enterprise, and I'm Lim Soon Heng with two young entrepreneurs who own two very exciting brands, Brian Lu Cha Time, the drink company, and Terence Lee of Bros, the u- reusable water bottle providers. Now, as they say, the devil is in the details. What are the challenges of this collaboration? Don't tell me none, huh? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think uh, for me, it's uh, not... Uh, the direction is is most important. Is whether we share the same same value, whether we we are going to the the correct direction, and that is the part that I think it takes us uh, uh, a lot of time to discuss, and, and whether we can go on this direction, and whether it is good for chart time or is whether yeah. Yeah, when you talk about the direction, yeah. Yeah. what kinds of questions were you answering? Okay, um, I think for us, the biggest challenge is all about commercial. It falls back to numbers. Mm. Because for us to go into merchant, that was the first ever initiative that we conduct this year. So for us, it's to make sure that the bottle has to be sellable. Mm-hmm. But who's going to decide the bottle, whether it's sellable, is the user that decides the bottle is sellable. So then it falls back to, to the design of the bottles. Because designing the bottles is a professional part for for, for um. For bros. for bros. Obviously, they'll provide us all the guidelines and professional advice in terms of what kind of color that could appeal to all the consumer. Yeah. So to us, our end is to make sure that our designer is working towards mass. And because we all know that designers have their own attitude, sure. they, they have their own <laughs> direction, their own character to do it. Hmm. But we have to get these people to really align to the market perceptions. How, they, how the design actually appeal to them. To... to to a lot b- before I involved in this project, a lot of things that I, I doesn't real, realize or I I don't even know. Actually, a cup a cap color could also influence the buyer. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this so is all information that you got from bros. Yes, the professional information that we granted and working very closely with our manufacturers, which means bros together, because to make sure that these three bottles will immediately appeal to the general public. So from one perspective, I understand then, bros, you were the consultant. He is the yes. the guy who is buying from you. I would say not only consultant is part of the consultant, but also I think the ideas, the, the design also come from chart time. It is not only we are doing the consultant job. Of course, I mean, from a market experience, we got the feedback what color is really exactly. working. Because some of the color, whether we, we think that is the color we want to try, but most of the time when we try it, we die. Yeah. <laughs> we can't sell it. Sometimes we have to change our car, the cap by ourselves because yeah. that is I not the sellable. I think just share, share something with um, yeah. Sun Hing, something that we have not, not um, actually um, k- telling the market is actually we were supposed to came up with four designs. Uh-huh. And after, uh, after that, to the last stage, we actually dropped one design. And because this design, both ends was agreed that it's not going to appeal to the market. And yeah. if we were to launch it, there's going to be a very big challenge of how to market it and get it sellable to, to, mm. the, to the product. So we actually drop one of these designs. In a sense, who bears the risk? Because I understand Char Time is trying to merchandise, so it's buying from you. Yeah. So f- as a producer, then you really have n- no risk. You just, it's called, you want 10,000, I sell you 10,000. Okay, I think that's 10,000 is for the first initial stage. But uh, later on, also, Bros is going to market the Char Time bottles, and that is going to produce by by uh, bros ourselves and we will sell it at the retail ch- channels uh, those supermarkets and, and so that that one you will have to bear the cost yes, of production of and everything exactly. yeah exactly. and we bear the uh, cost of the sales and the ch- yes. promotion and yeah when you do something like this in yes. this collaboration who is responsible for the marketing messages because you know you are marketing bottles and selling bottles yep. you are selling drink yep. yeah so yep. how do you go about with a k- somehow a, a unified voice I think in this, we, we actually came into a very balanced point where both of us actually step up to conduct marketing initiative in both different ways yeah. to, to market this whole initiative. So from Bro's way, he actually covered up all the press release and everything. For us, we actually do it more on, on the ground, on the ground initiative and everything. So that's, 
came out to be entire ecosystem. Hmm. And, and also at the, yeah. at, the, at the retail, also we had the POP and all those messages that come out to just to introduce to the consumer that looks we have char time bottle and when you buy the bottle you you bring back to char time you can get a ten percent discount, discount for yeah, the uh, exactly. drinks. Yeah. So even at um, once you start selling uh, your bottles through the department stores yeah. in March, they this these bottles too will qualify for exactly. the ten percent yes. discount. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. As long as they have the char time and bros branding on it. Yes. 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 Now, when when I think of bros and I think of water bottles, and yeah. I also went to your website, lah. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm surely I'm. You, you think I'm digging? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm digging. You know, bros is about you know water bottle, and they, there's this kind of message that you have about as more people understand the importance of choosing to drink water over sweet drinks. Yeah. Straight away, my said, ah, oh, you know, char time is all about sweet drinks. Eh? This uh, bros is about Water is well, is there a conflict there? I think th- there are a lot of sweet drinks out there, but if you look at uh, cha times uh, when you go to the store, you see they will ask you whether you need a half sugar <laughs> or or, yeah. co- or quarter yep. sugar. Yeah. Then then that is a part that cha time promote yep. for for healthier sure. living. Less I, I, sugar. I think I can clarify this part. <laughs> I, I think I think we we from cha time perspective we can clarify this part. Actually, first we came up with bottles mm-hmm. and. From from this bottle region, we understand that bros is actually pushing people to drink more water, and that's actually quite aligned with what, what mm. our region is. Which means that for our user, if they b- bought these bros and chartan bottle collections, actually from a part of just drinking chartan, we encourage them to drink more water. That, so that was the ultimate goal to mm. provide healthy to the consumer that we have today. So that that's actually where the brand direction is going towards too. So for us, it's not only to encouraging people to reusable. Re- reuse the bottle in Chata Mallets, but actually putting in the office or at home or wherever it is, but to encourage them to drink more water. How are you going to measure the success of this campaign? If we fall back to the commercial part, obviously we look at the numbers. Whether you can sell all the 10,000 yes, or not. exactly. But and both ends, we are actually very confident that we can achieve 10,000 bottles out in the market as soon as possible. So because we are on the pathway. We are on the pathway. And, um, yeah, and on brand vision side, Obviously, we have achieved a lot of PR value out there, and a lot of magazine actually fascinating with this topic, and they start picking up and start conducting all the interview, because in the market they have yet to see, a bridges with a FMCG products that collaborate together, and have shared s- so called the same mm. visions. Go ahead. My I think my own measure will be when you see people bringing your bottles or bringing char time bottle and return to char time. I think that is something that I would say. Is is a ROI or is a return of the success? Yes. I think I, I don't really look at a lot of numbers that represent the success. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at numbers. <laughs> yeah, I, to I to look at, but I don't really yeah. look at it. Uh, to, to, to us, it's more on a strategy on yeah. customer retention. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, retain the customer. You know, uh, I- I- with our brands and everything, created brand presence. Even though they're sitting on an office table, the bottle is up there. Yeah. So the brand presence is there, creating brand presence and also customer retention. In a collaboration like this, uh, yeah. Terence and, and Brian. How much of you know your relationship matters, or is it you know if, if somebody else with a different drink brand came up to you and he said, yeah, if we talk and if things work out, we'll just work out, or that you know it, it, you are doing this because something about Brian makes you trust him, and f- same yes, applies to you, I Brian. That some place you apply to him also. Um, to me, uh, Sohin, every collaboration to us is just like a marriage. We have to make sure that relationship has to going sustainable and in long run. For us, I felt that bros came in very timely because we are looking for a very good merchant partner to work with. And this bottle, this initiative, first series that came out, three bottles, is just the first initiative. So what we're looking after in 2014 and maybe year onwards is to launch at least four series every year. See? So that, that was the marriage between mm. both brands. And we, to us, we find that the, the whole relationship, the ecosystem was so healthy that we found comfortable to move on because both of them is served back to the same brand visions. You're keeping it to the brand, although you're using the, the, the metaphor of yes. marriage. Um, since you use the metaphor, I'm going to ask you this. Yes. If you have a sister, and I know you have a sister, would you let him marry Terence? And Terence, if you have a sister, would you let him marry Brian? Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll consider that <laughs> if, got, if, got if Terence is a big fan of Chatham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For me, I, s- I say it takes time because we know each other from the beginning and the trust built from time to time. And I think... It's, it's possible, I would say it's possible, it's possible. yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, folks. Terence Lee, founder and business development director of Bros, which is 
under the Living Wing uh, Syndrome Berhad. Brian Lu, Managing Director of Loop Holding, the company that holds the master franchisor of Cha Time in Malaysia. This is Resource Centre on Enterprise and I'm Lim Sun Hing, BFM 89.9, The Business Station. Thank you for listening to this podcast. To find more great interviews, go to bfm.my or find us on iTunes. BFM 89.9, The Business Station.